Not all types of plastic can be collected for recycling in New Zealand. And things may have been changing a bit recently in terms of what plastics get collected where you live. I get that it can be a bit confusing, so I'm here to show you the four types of plastic that can't be easily recycled and what you can do to avoid using them. Plastic types are identified by a number from one to seven. You can normally find the number inside an arrow triangle on the bottom of an item. To find out what types of plastic are collected and recycled in your area, the best place to go is your local council website. In New Zealand, there's currently a pretty good recycling market for plastics number one, two, and five. We can process numbers one, two, and five plastics in New Zealand, and there's demand for the recycled product that's created. Plastics number three, four, six, and seven are a lot more complicated to recycle. So if you have a choice between plastics, go for number one, two, or five, and bonus points if it's clear plastic instead of coloured, as it gives more flexibility in what it can be made into at the end. But when it comes down to it, any type of recycling takes resource, logistics, and energy to do. So the best thing we can actually do is to try and reduce the amount of single-use plastic we use. I'm gonna share some simple ways to reduce your use of common household plastics. In particular, those hard to recycles numbers three, four, six, and seven. These are super easy changes that I promise won't take a heap of time. Taking your own reusable containers is an awesome way to avoid all kinds of single-use plastic and packaging. I do it for all sorts of things. Sushi, meat, bread, supermarket delis, grocery at the bulk store. I totally get that it can feel a bit awkward the first time you do it. So I'm gonna give you a few tips to get you started. Number one, there's no need to go out and buy anything fancy. Reuse things you already have. Bags, jars, containers. Number two, choose a container that's right for the job. It needs to be easy to use and put things in and to get them out again. I once tried to use a jar for sausages and it didn't go well. Number three, when you arrive at the store, just ask that they're okay for you to use your own containers or call in advance if that's more comfortable for you. Number four, if it needs to be weighed, hand over your container before you start filling. Number five, fill it up with what you need. Number six, pay. Number seven, rinse and repeat. The bonus here is that you'll also be showing other shoppers that it's fine to bring your own container. The most common type of number three plastic is trays from biscuits and crackers. Although double check the number on the bottom, as some are number one plastic, which can go in your recycling bin. Number three plastic cannot currently be recycled in New Zealand. Clearly I'm not gonna tell you to stop eating biscuits and crackers because they're delicious. So instead, I'm gonna share my favorite super quick cracker recipe for making your own. Time is often a barrier for me, so whenever I'm baking biscuits, cakes, or crackers, I'll double, triple, or even quadruple the recipe and throw the extra baking in the freezer. If you're still not convinced, a big batch of these crackers will only cost you around 40 cents to make. If you're buying a couple of packets of crackers a week, making your own will save you over $200 a year. For those of you keen to give it a go, here's my go-to recipe. If you ever get bored of rolling like I sometimes do, throw the extra dough in the freezer. store your crackers in the pantry or the freezer. If they get stale at any point, just throw them back in a medium oven for five minutes. If you're after something even quicker and easier, grab a French stick from your bakery. The staler, the better. Makes them crunchier, saves some coin, and also the potential of it being wasted. Slice, sprinkle with salt, bake. If baking really isn't your thing, it's all good. Find someone who's into it and trade them with something else. Babysitting, produce out of your garden, or even a voucher for a local cafe. Plastics number four are often used for squeezy bottles like this. 
Number four plastics cannot currently be recycled in New Zealand. A simple switch you can make is to start buying your tomato sauce in tin cans and reuse a squeezy bottle or a glass bottle. You can then put the rinsed can in your recycling bin. If you're looking for an alternative for lemon juice, next time they're in season, squeeze some into ice cube trays and freeze. If you haven't got a tree, ask around or on social media pages. Everyone knows someone with a lemon tree. If you're into mustard, try to find one that's sold in a glass jar, or here's a quick and easy recipe to try at home. It will taste a bit intense to begin with, but give it a couple of days in the fridge and you'll never go back to a bought one. If you're buying multi-packs of yogurt bottles, it's probably made of plastic number six. Number six plastic cannot currently be recycled in New Zealand. A really simple switch is to start buying large containers of yogurt, as they're usually made from number five plastic, which can be recycled. And then you can decant it into reusable containers. You can even get fancy and add a bit of cut up fruit. My kids love it. Switching to DIY yogurt sachets is another way to cut down on the amount of waste you create. If you don't own a yogurt maker, check out your local op shop. I always spot at least a couple of them in the stores that I go to. Or you can make your own, and it's not as hard as you might think. All you need is some leftover yogurt and some milk. Leave quarter of a cup of yogurt at the end of the jar and start again. For a dairy-free alternative, you can follow a similar process to make coconut yogurt. Plastic number seven is a catch-all number for any other type of plastic. It's hard to recycle because it's made up of all kinds of plastic with different characteristics. Common number seven plastics that you'll find in your grocery shopping would be packets from fresh pasta and sliced meats. Taking your own container to buy deli meats over the counter at the supermarket is a really easy way to skip the packaging. When it comes to pasta, switching to dried pasta will save you a heap of packaging and money, and I swear it only takes a few minutes longer to cook. The good news is you can also get pasta options in cardboard just remove any plastic window, that bit's rubbish, and throw the box in your compost, or fold as a fire starter, or recycle it. Or try taking your own bag or container to your local bulk food store. You can stock up, as it lasts for ages. If you're up for making your own, you'll be amazed at how awesome it tastes. If you get in the groove of making it, you can also make bulk and throw it in the freezer. You can save time by making it in a bread maker, or outsourcing it to the kids. I make bulk, then dust with flour, and freeze for around 10 minutes until it's hard enough to pick up. Then freeze in a container or a Ziploc bag. Simple as. Reducing single-use plastic isn't an all or nothing game. That's all about doing what you can, when you can, and knowing that every change, no matter how small, is way better than no change. No change.